For the next one, this is the back from this pink one. I grabbed a piece of paper and I measured it up so I line it up just a little smaller than our base is. So this is our work surface. And what we are going to do is we are going to make two doorways. So I fit just two will fit. So first we are going to make two um, papers that have the right size. So line it up and make a mark. And then I cut this. Flip. Now I can make on this size one more because it's long enough. So I do the first one and then why is this two? Oh, I picked the one, the wrong size. Of course I did! Yeah! <laughs> so, do it again. Make two flippity flops. Okay, do it again. This one is going to... Yeah. So, I glue the first page on. On the left side. And I cut it out. Okay, that's one. Now we have already made another one. So flip it over and glue the second one on. That's easy. Easy peasy. Now I am going to do the decoration for the inside. Um, I think I want to use some leftover. It's like this. That's one. Now I just cut a little loose. And on the back side, I don't think I have enough of this same one, but that's okay. I have plenty of backgrounds. I think I have a stopwalk today. Okay, okay. <laughs> Try to think that I don't say that word anymore today. I do my best. So the second one is ready to go. Just in a second. And I again cut a little off. Like so. So now our two doors are ready. Now let's see where I like to be the first one. And the second one. It's 
really tight so let's manage it really nice this one I like here so it's really 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 tight I hope I don't cut to the paper and this one is more safe but I hope it will do so let's cut the first one and the second one Then you slide it in That's one Another difficult one Just a little The, the paper okay. okay let's give it this is just going to be perfect so slide it oh my god I just do the first one this is staying really well I believe I believe this one is still nice yep and then I do the other one nice and easy so I don't tear the paper and then this is also finished but for this one I really like to use some extra tape and for the safety I'll do it on the other side too so like that yes like it so you have much room for photos here and here or writing on or whatever it's plenty of room now before we are going to glue it in our paper I like to make um, I think a little swing tag for this <coughs> and let's decide which one I believe I do have some little black ones so let's give it a search okay I just have found my swing tags <laughs> my daughter was here just a minute go away you silly girl time to go to the how you call it the bracelet doctor <laughs> nee bracelet is, a, is a something else and um, how you call it for in her mouth not, not the dentist but for the metal she has on her teeth oh my god how do you call it um, I don't, I don't come up with it just that fast. So I want to, I want to make it ready to go with her. So I almost finished. That's what she was coming to say to me. Mom, it's almost time. Yes, dear. Because we are on our holiday 
in May, our May holiday. So my children are at home today, but they are big enough. Oh my god, I really think this is lovely. Yeah, like it. So I perhaps I can make a little, um, how you call it, a, a, a tab or so you can write something on it. Oh, nice. Yeah, lovely. Now, I just quick put it on my page and then tomorrow will be another day for filming. Oh no. Oh no, tomorrow we'll have to go and it's not very bad. <laughs> it's even really fun. We have to go shopping! Yay! <laughs> Who doesn't like that? We go shopping tomorrow in Germany. Yeah, I really like that. Always curious what they have in other countries. It's not too far. It's just a little hour of driving. So together with my mother and my stepdad and my daughter. So it will be a nice day tomorrow. So tomorrow I don't do any crafting. So I really love this one. Yeah. So this will open up. Yeah. And then this will close down. And if you don't have nail, then this will be easier to do. <laughs> yeah. I love it. Yay. Up to the next page. Thanks for watching. Bye bye. For the next page, page I'll try uh, something new. I wanted to well, the page is not new, but I wanted to use circles. And uh, let's join with me and see what it looks like. I want to make a box page. And so uh, we have our new tunnel. And but just leave it aside. I choose a background where we can work on. So when it's done then we can glue this on our tunnel. And so this is our workplace and I cut four design papers um, in rounds and two black ones. And the black ones are just a little uh, bigger than the design paper. So I hope it will work out. And oh, the tool that I use for the circles that I bought uh, just a little while ago on a big fair here in Holland and yeah it's a circle cutter and I really like it and I use it for uh, for now the first time for big rounds but you also can use it for little ones and I really 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 like it and it was a little um, wondering how it work, worked for me because I have long nails because the man on the fair um, he just moved this this thing but then I really get in the way with my long nails but I move I just hold this one and I moved all um, I use a small uh, cutting mat and then I move all the paper and the cutting mat just around this one and I really like it and um, shall I just quick show you how I do that for all the people that have the same the same um, let's see what paper can I use what's a leftover oh here I got just a plain one um, so I measure how far I uh, want to make the circle before I so this one you can move around and so I play, and this is a small uh, uh, mat, so be sure that your circle is not wider than um, the mat, of course. But this is a little um, uh, pin, and that you you, le you pick it in the paper, and then I already I use my hand to put it on place, and then this one I leave it in these two fingers, and then I move it around and just move everything around <laughs> this for me is really really handy and then I cut 
a whole circle. Oh, <laughs> I really like it. And if you want a smaller circle, then of course you just move this around and just place it just the same and just move it around. And then you have a smaller one. <laughs> I really like it and yeah I thought I'd show you just real quick and for those who have these same this is my way to using it <laughs> I really like it but we are going to make a box page so I really hope um, it work out because I this is my first time so um, I picked these circles and it's a little bigger but that's not um, not a big deal so the first thing what I do is cut it in half because we need to that's one And the second one. And now the, the hole in the middle is really handy because that's the middle. So it can't go any wrong. But except if you cut this one off. But it's okay. Okay. So Move everything on the way because we have need room. Now the meaning is that we place four pages on here. So let's see if it all fits. Yeah, that will fit. Fit. Yeah. So what we do is we make a hinge. So I grab some uh, leftovers and I measure the right size of this page and then I cut it. So we make four hinges and my table is really too small. <laughs> So let's see, I want to make a pretty large hinge for the extra stability. That's one, let's grab another piece left over. and make two inches of it. Let's see. Oh, this is pretty big. So I'll make it just a little small. Okay. That will do the trick. Let's fold it. This one is really big. So I cut it because also I did not cut it really straight but you glue it all down so it's not really a thing. Now let's see. I think I go cut these a little off so it won't get in the way. Because they 
come attaching each other, I believe. So I cut these. Now, let's see, let's see. Put everything away, what you don't need. Um, let's give it a go. Because this one is a little too big, but that we, we can cut it out. So, let's glue the first one down. Let's give it a go. So I glue this one in the middle. And then the meaning is that these come here. Let's see, do I do it with the scissor or do I I think I do it afterwards. So um, let's give it a thought. What do I do? I do this underneath, of course, so I can see where this is going to be. And then I cut the over left off. I think that will be the easiest way to give it a real perfect touch. Yeah. This will do the trick. So our first one is already ready. Okay. So let's do another one. So we put some tape on or glue or whatever, whatever you have. And then glue it in the middle. And if you don't have uh, the circle cutting tool, then of course you can use every, um, every, um, how you call it? You can use a die cut or whatever you like, of course. Because I did once earlier, an, um, a box page tutorial and so you can see how I did it with just straight paper and a die cut just look it up on YouTube and you'll find it it's I believe it's called a box a box um, this you don't see later on you really don't because we have to glue our paper on so this will go away afterwards yes it does so the next one we continue let's continue And as you see, I really hate preparing everything. I just cut the paper, uh, the round uh, uh, off and for the rest I just go with the flow. And if something goes wrong, you always can fix it of course. Because it's handmade and not a machine or whatever. Now the last one. Let's give it a go. Now really this is the first time I am using the round for a box page. So I'm really excited how it turns out. Let's cut the log. 
last one off. And then we have a box page. So one, two, three. Oh, this was one, two, three, four. Yeah, I like it. Now we can cut the design paper. I really like it. Yeah. Or you can use something like this. It's also nice. But yeah. Okay. I cut the design paper for you and I come back in a minute. Okay. I finished all my decoration. And for the closure I just want to use... A simple ribbon and we'll do that on the back of course first take some tape and put it on the back and then I center it And then it's finished and we can make a closure. So our box is easy to close. Yeah. And then we cut the rest off. Like that. Okay. Now we can um, glue it all together on our page. So let's do that. Together. Where is my block? Here is my block. Always want to use my acrylic block. say that anymore. Okay, that's a new stopword of me the last days. <laughs> Try not to do that much. So, alrighty then. <laughs> I always use some glue. why I like to use some of the so you can wiggle just a little yeah okay so this opens up opens up opens up opens up and this is our base page yeah but now I just want to open it so I can Really let the glue. I really like the box page always because um, you can put um, some tags in it for later or whatever leftover tags you have or whatever you like. Let's put some in and then you can close it and. Just use the ribbon as a closure and that's it. It's really handy and fun to see. Yeah, okay. Oh, I want to add. Alright, let's go to the right, to the next page. <laughs> blah, blah, blah. <laughs> 